The following program is presented by Kevin Shorey Ministries, whose mission is to fulfill the Great Commission by spreading the word that Jesus is the answer for this world today. Live from Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, it's time once again for another edition of AM Kevin, starring evangelist, composer, and gospel artist Kevin Shorey and the entire AM Kevin Club gang. And now, reaching coast to coast and around the world with the message that Jesus is the answer for this world today is your host, Kevin Shorey. just went wild. I'm so glad you're watching today. today. I've been looking forward to today. This is one of my favorite days. I love when Earl Galloway and Willie Ming are here because they are the best. Earl Galloway, gospel legend. Willie Ming, the greatest pianist, singer. And, and, and together, it's just like you put two sticks of dynamite poof, together. Now, they didn't bring their piano today, so they get three lashes with a wet noodle. But they, it's because it's uh, on the other two part of their tour they were at in Florida. But um, they are here in the studio, and I'm going to shut up and let them sing. And they said I could actually sing with them a little bit, so I might just chime in. But ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome back to the AM Kevin Club, Earl Galloway and Willie May. And guest, special guest, Kevin Shorey. Once I was clothed All right. in the rags of my sin, wretched and poor, lost and lonely within, then with wondrous compassion, the King child of the King, His royal blood now flows in my veins, and I, who was wretched and poor, now can see. Praise God, praise God, I'm a child. 
microphone malfunction, but uh, I'm so glad you're watching today. Uh, let me see what I did. I tried to raise it up so that I could maybe, uh, boy, it just looks weird, uh, uh, so I could stand up. But, but anyway, I want to, uh, I, I, I'm not equal to them, so I should stay down lower. I just bow down before them. I'm so glad you're watching today, but uh, it's a great day to to bless the Lord, to praise the Lord, and to, um, you know, lift him up. And many uh, there's many prayer requests that have uh, come through, and we want to pray. And I want to get some of that, uh, some of that prayer music going here, and... Uh, I want you to to do uh, do me a favor because the Bible simply says where two or more agree touching any one thing and it shall be done of our Father in heaven. And so I want you to agree with me as we pray and believe. Uh, we have one of our dear friends who's been on the program a couple times, Joel Hemphill, the great Joel Hemphill, is uh, facing surgery this afternoon and his wife is asking everybody to uh, lift him up in prayer. So we start there. Lord, I thank you so much that you, you've healed me so I know you're a healer and I know you can heal and I know you will. Touch Joel right now as they're preparing him for surgery even now as we speak and be with every one of our partners but be in our nation. We need you, especially this election time. We need your wisdom and your guidance and the spirit of discernment from the White House to our house to every church house. We pray there shall be an awakening and a revival for the United States of America as Earl and Willie are out telling people about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be with them and all of those ministries that are going out, including ours, God. May we be found faithful in these last of the last days. I pray for peace in Israel, peace in the Ukraine. All over this world, we need peace. You said that in the last time, in the last days, there'll be perilous times and wars and rumors of wars, but God, give us some more time of peace, we pray right now, and pour out your spirit upon all flesh. We proclaim healing for every body that needs healing today. Touch your people, God, by the authority we have in the word, by the authority we have in the word that says, by your stripes we're healed, by the authority in the word that says, by the name that's above every name, the name Jesus we speak healing and miracles and power to everyone. As a matter of fact, we can also claim the power of God that raised Christ from the dead. It says we'll quicken our mortal bodies and give us healing. Bring healing and physical healing, mental healing, restoration and healing for families. We proclaim that every career, business, job, ministry will move forward in 2024. Not going to be poor in 2024. And every transaction we partake in will be successful. Every goal shall be met. Every God-given dream shall be accomplished. And we speak the FBI, favor, blessing, increase. Come on, we're part of the, the FBI. Favor, blessing, increase, success, fruitfulness in every endeavor. And as we go about our life every day, God, may we not be ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we love you and we praise you in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. Amen and amen. If you agree, come on, if you're watching Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, if you're able to type in, type in amen or thank you, Jesus, or glory to God or something so that you are in agreement. We see, I see Ruthie. Thank you for booking Willie and Earl again. Ruthie, we love you. Larry and Rowana, Mel and Catherine, Sherry, Nancy, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. Out there in Idaho, Alex is watching right here from Nashville. And Joyce down in beautiful day in Jesus, she said, but it, isn't it always beautiful in Florida? She's there in Florida in my old stomping grounds. I think that's awesome. Well, it's a, it's a holiday. Every day is a holiday. Before I read about the holidays, though, uh, you know, we help support Hand of God out of Colorado that goes to Ethiopia where we go every year. And I got their, uh, their letter and uh, says another year's come and gone and... Uh, and uh, it's been quite the year. The unrest in Ethiopia has changed many things where we've done things. Uh, the changes haven't all been good out there in Ethiopia. There's just the government is always, there's a lot of things happening out there. We need to continually pray for my Ethiopian brothers and sisters. They're just good friends and ministers out there. I just love that. Hey, brother, Harry's watching. God bless you. Evangelist Harry Umfleet. Um, but God has been faithful, and uh, we know that the year to come will be stronger and better. Uh, thank you for your giving and your prayers, and I uh, uh, can't say enough about 
uh, what God is doing. In spite of it all, the children have graduated from universities, colleges, and vocational schools. They're doing well in their jobs. Now, you know this hand of God isn't just to feed the children kind of deal. Yeah, they feed them, they clothe them, they help them, but they also put them in schools, help them to graduate from their schools with the donations and put them through university. We have, there, there are doctors, nurses, uh, teachers, uh, every vocation uh, possible in the many years that John, Brother John, has led this hand of God. I am most proud of the fact that all of our all of our kids are serving the Lord. We get emails, texts, and see their posts on Facebook all the time. It blows me away. This year, we had four graduate from university and college, and this week, just this week, we had six start in u university. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, and there's a picture of some of the little ones. Now, see, they'll be, they'll be raised up and supported till they get graduate from university. And uh, there's my, my dad up there in the corner right there. And so thank God for Ethiopia. And we're planning, we're hoping, uh, you know, the government and the civil unrests and, and, and the finances and all, we're hoping to get back to Ethiopia for another, you know, last year at the beginning, around this time, I was just getting home as we spent two weeks in crusades around the country, including one that had 7,000 people in the three days that we were in that one. And then we had 1,000 in the other one. But I'm telling you, many were saved and healed and delivered. There's a lot of, uh, I was going to say there's a lot of demon possession over in Africa, but there's probably a lot here. We just don't, don't want to admit it uh, in America. But because uh, I've cast a few, I probably cast out more here in, uh, in America than I have in a, anyway. So, and a lot of them are in gospel music. But anyway, I'm kidding. I am so kidding. I'm just, I think last time I, you guys were here, I was picking on Ann Downing. I yes. think, <laughs> and she's never talked to me since. Uh, uh, I'm kidding. She loves me. I just <laughs> talked to her the other day. I, well, I messaged her. She didn't message back. But anyway, she will. She will. Oh, man. That's funny. But um, maybe I should do the joke of the day first, lighten things up. We got to take our medicine. You know, we love to take our medicine because it's very important because laughter does good like a medicine, right? Well, it's time for Kevin's Joke of the Day. <laughs> oh, sorry, there I am. Uh, I got some good ones about money. Because, you know, what? when it comes to money, you might as well laugh instead of cry. Uh, you know, the one that says uh, money talks, right? And all mine says is goodbye. But anyway, that's not the joke of the day. But it could be. That was a good one. I like that one. Uh, my mother actually told me that one. She, she was a jokester. She was amazing. I miss my mama. Uh, but, but these are funny. Okay, these are, it sounds like they're true stories. A rancher asked a bank in Oklahoma, uh, an Oklahoma rancher, what a, what a concept, uh, asked the Oklahoma, the banker, for a $500 loan. This must have been years ago. Uh, the banker says, what security do you have? He said, I got 200 horses. He says, that seems satisfactory. So the banker granted the loan for $500. Today, it would be probably $50,000. Uh, two months later, the rancher returned to the bank, took out a fat roll of bills, counted out $500. It wasn't that fat, $500. <laughs> this is an old story. Uh, counted the $500 plus interest and laid it on the banker's desk and turned to leave. Say, the banker remarked, you've got quite a bit of cash here. Why don't you let us take care of the rest of the, your money? And he said, how many horses do you have? <laughs> All that for that. All right, we got to take one more. I, 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 I love Earl and Willie. They give me charity laughs. I love that. They're <laughs> laughing even though it wasn't that funny. Oh, yeah, this is a Washington state firm could not get Mr. Adams to pay his bill. A state firm. I don't know what a state firm is. This is old. Uh, finally, they wrote, Dear Mr. Adams, what would your neighbors think if we came and repossessed your car? Your car. One week later, the firm received a letter from Mr. Adams. Scrawled across the bottom was, Dear sirs, I checked with my neighbors and they think it would be a lousy trick. Sincerely, Mr. Adams. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Uh, there's some jokes of the day, but also, oh, I 
I can't forget, it is a holiday. Every day is a holiday. Even February the 7th, which is today, is a holiday. Did you know every day was a holiday? Yes, yes. Yesterday was uh, Chopsticks Day, uh, celebrating chopsticks, you know. They've, they've seen the fork, but uh, they still, <laughs> I used a chopstick yesterday at lunchtime. Yes, it wasn't easy with mashed potatoes, but I did anyway. <laughs> and then the uh, day before that was another day, but every day, and I just pick one. People have actually gone to the Library of Congress or had Congress pass actual days, holidays, every day. And this is one, all right? But first we have to have the lead in, Larry. <laughs> Every day is a holiday, celebrating some person, place, or thing. And here at AM Kevin, we'd love to acknowledge each and every one. Here's Kevin with today's special day. All right, so today is actually, <laughs> you know, the other day, and I didn't celebrate this one, was take a shower with your friend day. It's like, no, no, we don't, I, don't, I can't picture that. That's not good. It was to save water. They think oh. that you should just. <laughs> wow. Moving right along, this is today, February the 7th, is actually wave all your fingers at your neighbor day. Wave all your fingers. Yes, I've had certain fingers waved at me and sometimes a thumb. But uh, this is wave all your fingers day. Uh, please use all your fingers when you're waving. And if that's too strenuous, I thought this would be a great exercise for today. You remember how you used to draw your hand in, in school? And so I'm drawing my hand. And see, if you really can't lift up your arms to, to wave, I just thought that's what you do. You just, hey, <laughs> would you like to do one, Earl? <laughs> Would you uh, like to yeah. do, would you, Willie, would you like to do a, do a hand? Well, this is in all my fingers, so I'm, I'm not left-handed, so I, this is harder for me, but these are going to be a little crooked and stubby. But this is wave all your fingers. At, we have to celebrate every holiday. You know why I do this? If, if you think it's just being stupid, it is, but it's also because some people just don't have the will to get up in the morning. Some people go through life. and But every day is a great new day the Lord has made, and every day should be celebrated. So... Here you go. There's my hands. Let's see, which was my right? This was my left. This was my right. There we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I did want to encourage you to help us. <laughs> I wish I could get the camera on you guys. Uh, they're, they're waving their hands. They're cute. Wave all your fingers at your neighbor day. So happy wave all your fingers at your neighbor day. I don't know. why. Did, I never made that up. Uh, I mean, I didn't make that up. Uh, somebody else. And, and, and it's a real thing. So, okay. Uh, I just want to encourage you to give. 41 years. I've been in ministry now. 41 years. Been doing television. 41 years. Started out as a PTL singer on the PTL club with Jim and Tammy singing behind Tammy Faye. Oh, wow. They don't give up. On or you can make it. All those days just seems like uh, eons ago, but yet sometimes it just feels like it was last week. But, you know, uh, then traveling all, all the United States uh, from PTL to the Lundstroms to then establishing our own ministry in 1989 and, and uh, then going alongside Jim Baker for another 10 years as his co-host and still traveling. But uh, we've traveled all over the world. We're doing, we started the social media and uh, TV stations and 41 years. So every year I try to find something to give you if you'll give that certain amount. You can do that monthly if you want. But if you do a one-time gift of $41, LaDonna, our dear friend, made me these tumblers, or as my mom would say, tumbla, with, with uh, social media and all of our TV stations at the bottom and our, our website at the top and then a picture of myself. You say $41 for a tumbler, although it's worth it just to keep mice and rodents and roaches away with the picture. But uh, $41 is the tumbler, metal straw cleaner, but uh, tumbler, 40, I couldn't say 41 I want to give you stuff. So pick two bonus gifts. You get the tumbler. Pick any gifts. We got the Kevin Shorey Show t-shirts. We have the uh, Friends of Israel 
It has the Star of David with the cross in it that was made just for us, ball cap. Uh, I have plenty of CDs you can pick if you want. I've got my Praise and Worship. I've got my Kevin Shorey and Friends. That's 25 videos. This is a DVD. 25 songs where I sing with Sue Ann Dodge, Pam Thumb, Babby Mason, Dottie Rambo. I got two Dottie Rambos on here. Tammy Sue Baker, The Couriers. I sang the Statue of Liberty with the Statue of Liberty group, The Couriers. Y'all know these people because they're, they're famous. But, uh, and I just, you know what? I just sang with y'all. Maybe I could make Ooh. another DVD. <laughs> Debbie Boone and Marvin Wine is they're all on there. There was my very first. Who's that kid right there? It used to look like this. I still keep a 1986 version of me to say, oh, that could be my son. Anyway, uh, uh, Christmas, my newest one, Growing Up Gospel. Gary Paxton produced me, The Valley Walker. Uh, Lundstrom's, my Heaven CD. Guy Heath, Finishing Strong. Healing Scriptures with Worship. That's my mom playing the piano on this one. We have the kids' armor, the devices you put on your phone to keep away uh, radiation, and it, it cools down the phone so it doesn't burn and boil your brain because there's actually research that your cell phone is boiling the cells in your brain when you hold it up to your, your face, and I hope you don't do that. But if you do, I've got one on my laptop. I put one on my microwave at home. Anything that can have electromagnetic fields, this has been proven, tested in three different clinics around the world. Love it. I've got the first person comic book for young people. You go to my website, pick two gifts, any of those gifts. This alone, these two devices are $30, but uh, uh, you get it as a bonus for you if you get the tumble up. All right, do that. And I noticed that on the other site, OptivitaHealth.com, I promise Willie and Earl are coming up, but the... I, uh, Optivita Health, where you get your silver, your liquid silver, your silver gel for burns or cuts, your silver lozenges for your throat. It's got the honey and lemon in it, and it's made with pure silver to build up your immune, uh, your collagen and all that good stuff in your, I love this stuff. If I feel a sore throat coming on, suck down one of these. I never get so I don't get sore throats. So you don't get colds. I think part of it is my vitamins and my silver regimen. Uh, Optivita Health is having some special, maybe in honor of Frank Davis, the founder who just passed away. Uh, I, I think uh, nine, there's some items that are up to 90%. <laughs> I don't know if you can add the 10% we get and just get a, get it free 100%. I don't, I don't think that works that way. But uh, you do, on all items, if you put in AM Kevin 77, uh, you can go from my website to Optivita Health. And uh, you, it'll go right to the page where it goes into our ministry for all of your giving. You get their product, they give us an offering, and you get 10% if you type in the promo code AMKevin77. Okay, I think I covered everything. 90% off, that's really good. I think I covered everything. What I want to do today is we don't get the, these, these guys. This is like, you know, the cream of the crop of gospel greats. And we really don't, and, and I don't just say it to be funny, I mean it with all my heart, that, that they even came the first time, I was like, and they've come back, and, and this third or fourth time, third, third, third time, and uh, I said, why don't we just see what Earl and Willie do in concert, just do a concert, just sing, talk, share, and when it's time to go, I'll give you the you know, time out, or whatever it is, time peace, I, I, something, you'll know. And, uh, but just have, are you ready for that, y'all? You want to have a good, good concert, uh, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm not going to do my Devo preach, do any of that stuff. I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, I just want to hear them live here. I'm so blessed to be right here next to them, but you get to see it live. Ladies and gentlemen, Earl Galloway, <laughs> Willie May. <laughs> Ever just got to wondering about the way things are today? So many on board the gospel ship trying to row in a different way. If we'd all pull together like a family, me and you, we'd come a lot closer to doing what the Lord called us to do. Not to keep 
Kevin, uh, opening up the show to us to uh, do what we do. So thank you, Kevin, for letting us do that. And um, for those of you who do not know who we are, um, the gentleman over to my left, is it going to be their left too or my, their right? I don't Whatever know. way it is. Their right, actually. Yeah, well, the guy that I'm pointing to. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's the only one there. Right, the other guy. <laughs> All of us. Well, Willie, um, I've known Willie for about 38 years, and Willie traveled and sang with our family when we first started, our first piano player that we ever had. And uh, so he was a fantastic musician, great singer. And uh, a year ago, this coming month, March, uh, we did our first concert together as Earl and Willie, and um, we were planning on just dabbling a little bit, and dabbling turned into something a little bit more than dabbling. We've been really busy and thank the Lord for it. But I think he's a great musician, great singer, and uh, a wonderful friend. And this is his name is Willie Ming Yay. from Northwest Arkansas. Yay. Uh, that's how, where I met Willie was up in northwest Arkansas when we lived there. And my name is Earl Galloway, and I live in uh, the big city of Nashville, Tennessee, Yay. and uh, love it there. And um, so that's what we do. We travel and base ourselves out of Nashville. Willie flies in, and, and then we get in the vehicle on the way we go to sing, and then he goes, I kick him out and send him home. So, But anyway, we have a good time singing. And uh, this little song that we want to do next... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of got a little di different groove to it. I hope you like it. Uh, it says, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yeah. So let, let's see if we can find that. <laughs> Jesus, can't nobody do me 
that we do, uh, people want to know what it's like on the road. Do we dare go there? <laughs> oh, go, there. go ahead. Please go there. <laughs> we get this all the time. First off, we do a uh, Facebook Live, and I do it on my personal Facebook page, Earl Galloway, so if you want to tune into that, you can. Oh, we also have, huh? It's just a terrible blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Keyword terrible. <laughs> Willie always says, we are one monkey short of a circus. So <laughs> that's what we are. We don't mean to be. <laughs> it just follows us. I don't know. But we do a, a Facebook Live on that. We also have our Willie and uh, Earl and Willie uh, music Facebook page as well. We're scriptural, biblical. Yeah, how's that? Well, the cloud always follows us. <laughs> Y'all, we can't make this stuff up. Willie does all the driving, and, and I, uh, I'm old school. We, um, everybody tells us to use the GPS on our, GPS. On our phone, and, and <laughs> I just can't hardly keep up with it. She tells me to turn here, turn there, and it gets, gets me all lost, so we take an atlas with us on there, and we do Facebook Live, uh, you know, uh, on the road, and the other day, we were up in where, when it took you through the cornfield? We were headed to do television taping in Ohio when it took me off of the four lane and put me through the middle of a cornfield, Little. literally, with no shoulder on the road. Oh, and um, I was feeling blessed about then, I'll admit. So when we left the studio, I said, shut that thing off. I think I can get us back to where we need to be. Yeah. And sure enough, I made one turn yeah. on my own. Yeah. Without the, what do you call it, GPS? GPS. Yeah. And then we hit four lane. We got the GPS at the CBNS. <laughs> but you know, the, the funny thing, whenever I said, how are we going to get out of here? And he said, just turn that thing off. He licked his finger, stuck it out the wind, and he said, I think we go this way. We and did it the, worked. We did, it worked. It really worked. And then uh, one time we were up in um, Frankenmuth, Michigan, 
If you've never been to Frankenmuth, Michigan, it's a wonderful little town, German town, and uh, they took us out on a, uh, the, uh, the it's called a riverboat. Riverboat, took us out on a riverboat, and uh, there was some man that was famous from there. He was on the Lawrence Welk show, and I forget what his name was. Do you remember his name? I can't remember it. <laughs> Some something or another, and his wife built a hotel there and put his name on it, and it said uh, what, Bippity Bobbity Boo, whatever his name was, and then down below it it said hotel. So the script was very German in its nature. Yeah, I couldn't. Very read it. ornate. And I said, I was, I was looking at that. And I said, How do you pronounce that? I said, Hotel. <laughs> I was like, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. That's what that's what follows us. Um, and I'll tell you this one story. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll tell you this one story. I'll tell you this story that we told Kevin earlier. Um, we were down in a little town called Naples, Florida, the other night. I got to tell it's just you too just good. You just tell everything you know. It's just too funny, because this stuff. He's the monkey just appeared at in Naples, Florida, because. <laughs> We went to eat at a restaurant, and they had that valet parking, which we're not used to valet parking, but we did that. And, and down in Naples, Florida, they got Maseratis, they got Ferraris, they got Bentleys and Rolls Royces everywhere. We, in fact, that night, we counted 11 Bentleys, mm -hmm. a couple of Rolls and Ferraris, all that mess. Mm -hmm. So, boy, we put our suit coats on. We are going to go eat dinner there with the fancy people. And when they pulled up and said we valet, I told the guy when we got, first off, I have an old 2003 Cadillac Sedan DeVille, and I'm missing the front left hubcap. And Which some, basically looked like we had stolen it. <laughs> right. And then the trunk latch don't keep down all the time. It just depends. And so when we pulled up, I told the valet, I said, now this is really a Bentley disguised as a Cadillac, never mind the missing front hubcap. So I said, you take real good care of my car if you don't mind. So he went part, we went and eat, and we come back out, and there's a big old fancy uh, uh, Mercedes there, and this man lady got in that Mercedes, and Willie looked across, and we was waiting for the valet to bring the car, and Willie looked across the street, and here this man come, the valet, out of the parking lot, into the street, and the car was just doing that, the bouncing, he was pulled out of there way too fast, and Willie looked up, and he said, Willie says, the trunk, the trunk, and that trunk was just doing this. <laughs> my trunk come loose. My turtle hull, if that's what you call it. That's what I call it. Look like the clampets. Turtle hull come loose and is doing that. We got up there, and the guy pulls up, and he starts to back up to it. And uh, Willie said, oh, no, that's fine right there. Don't back up any further. It's fine right there. Willie went over, and he slammed the trunk. Thank God it closed. He jumps in the car to hide. And there was uh, two couples behind me, and I was trying to pay the valet, and I had my phone out trying to figure it out. And this one lady says, they might have a dead body in there. <laughs> and I thought, oh, Lord, sweet Jesus. I was still punching on my phone. The next lady, she says, and that's a Cadillac. I thought, oh, God, help me get out of here. And then the first lady says, I just wonder if they're part of the mafia. And I said, I didn't even look back to him. I was too scared to look back. I said, it's Uncle Guido's car. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I ran to the car to get in. That's our spiritual side of our service. But anyway, <laughs> it was really God protect us. That's the story. on the crown and walk around. I am on my journey, journey to that city for square. And by faith in the love of God, I surely will enter there. With some glad tomorrow, with the saints I stand. I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, what a wonderful day I'll join the song of the blood-washed throne While the angels roll away When I get to heaven On that beautiful strand I'll put on a crown and walk around All over God's promised land Alright, here we go Put your hands together, make some noise at home Well, the band is picking good today There will be no sorrow, no more trouble or strife. We will live through the ages by the beautiful tree of life. When I join that chorus, heaven's happy band, I'll put on a crown and walk.
walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, what a wonderful day. I'll join the song of the blood-washed throne while the ages roll away. When I get to heaven, on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, what a wonderful day. I'll join the song of the blood-washed throne while the ages roll away. When I get to heaven, on that beautiful strand, I'll put on a crown and walk around all over God's promised land. Oh, glory, all over promised land. Do we have time for one more? Come on. Well, I, before we sing uh, another song. I just realized your concerts must be really fun. That's, uh, I'm enjoying <laughs> this so much. Now, are you on camera with us? I am right now. Oh, good. Uh, you I, do not want me to be? I no, I, I wanted you to be on here. Because you said you were talking about uh, you worked with Tammy and, and Jim. I did. That intrigued me. Yes. And so I'm sitting over here and my mind's just... Are you going to interview me? What, what, no, I just, I wanted did to... Did you get to uh, Galloway's ever sing on PTO? No. What? Uh, no, and I never got to meet. I'm, I've been on Jim's show several yeah. times, but I never had the opportunity of meeting Tammy. Oh, man. She was everything you saw and more. Was she? Oh, she was. She, genuine, real. From the very first time I met her, I realized uh, I need to stop making fun of her. Well, I didn't really make fun of her, but I knew the world oh, did sure, all the sure, time. Sure. And I'm like, and she knew that, they too. Don't, and she did. She uh, Somehow she could cope with it, but... Uh, I realized just the first time I met her and was spent time working with her that uh, she's genuine. She's real. The tears were real. The makeup was, was a insecurity real. thing, and it was real. <laughs> she was just as beautiful without it. I got to be one of the few that's ever seen her without her makeup. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I really loved her, and really, she was, she was a real deal. Really loved Jesus. Well, I would sit there. I remember uh, sitting there watching the show. I probably watched you as a singer. Maybe there, you you're know? the skinny younger guy. This guy right here. Yeah, right that here. guy, right yeah. Guy right there. Well, I remember watching that, and you may have been on there. Uh, I mean, I was very mm -hmm. small whenever I was watching that show, mm. but um, I was very young. Mm. Uh, me but too. I, <laughs> I was a toddler. I just, <laughs> yeah, they gave me a rattle, and I sang with my rattle. Yeah. Now, where, did, was that over in Virginia when that was going on? No, 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 not that far back. That's your day. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I couldn't resist that one. No, it was in Charlotte at Fort Mill in, in the uh, those gotcha. PTL Heritage USA days. Now, didn't they do something here in Nashville? Would they come here to do that, or who done who did that? Hmm, I don't think. So. I don't know if who did. did the thing over at Twitty City. Oh, that's TBN. Oh, yeah. TBN. Yeah, yeah TBN. Is that's Paul they and Jan? That. Yeah, that's Paul and Jan. That's Paul and Jan. Uh, I, and I never never met them either. So I got to meet Jim, and the, one of the last TV tapings we did with Jim. He would give away stuff if they would, you know, people would support his ministry. Right. And every time he would say, for the love gift of $10 or whatever, we're yeah. going to give you this. And he looked at See the person. See where I get it from. Uh, well, he would look at the person that was showing it, and he'd say, give that to Earl. I want him to have it. Yeah. He'd go to the next thing. Give that to Earl. I want him to have there that. There you go. And when I left Here, there. Earl, I'm going to give you a tumbler. <laughs> Very when, generous. When I left there, the entire bus was full. Full of stuff. Of yeah. stuff that Jim gave me. It created wonderful memories. But. And when we sing, we want to create great memories for the people that hear us. Yeah. But the main memory that is dear to our heart is if somebody can leave the concert or the service in a better condition than when they came. Yeah. We want them to feel encouraged. If you come, we want you to feel encouraged. We want you to feel blessed. And if you come to our concert and you're not saved, we want to you we want you to leave saved and on your way to heaven. Amen, amen. And uh, back uh, around Thanksgiving, we sang in Somerville, Tennessee, did our thing, and at the end, the Spirit of the Lord just came in, and I told him, I said, you know what? Let's just camp out here for just a minute. Hmm. And uh, I said, I'm going to tell you how I pray. I'm just old Earl. And I, sometimes I 
sit down and I say, well, God, it's me, Earl, again, and I've messed up, and I sure do need your help. I thank you, God, for grace and mercy because I need a bunch of it. And then I talked to the Lord just like we're sitting on the couch. And I told that in that uh, church that, that day. And I said, if you're here today and you don't know the Lord, it's not a big old prayer of words you don't know. All you got to do is say, I'm, I'm lost and I need you. I need a Savior. That's right. Forgive me and come into my heart. And did you know, Kevin, there was a guy there. Was his name Cody? Mm -hmm. or Cody. Cody? 30, it, probably in his 30s. He came forward and gave his heart and life to Jesus Christ. And to me, that, and to Willie, that made our, that made our year. Yes. It made our it year. It was one of those experiences that when he arose from the altar, his face was just lit up. Oh, yeah. He was beaming. It's priceless. It was, it was, it was a, a wonderful yeah. God moment. It was. And back several years ago, I wrote a little song, and we'll, we'll sing this and turn it back to you, Kevin. But right. uh, several years ago, I, I wrote a little song called Whispered Prayers. And how many of you have just walked around your house and you'll say, Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, Jesus. Yes. I've got to have your help. Jesus, give me strength. There's something about just speaking the name of Jesus yes. that'll bring peace. And if you're listening today and you need healing in your body, speak the name of Jesus. If you're here and you're listening today, and you need some kind of peace to come on you, speak the name Jesus. Yes. Just whisper a prayer. If you're here and you're listening and you're going, I don't have this relationship with the Lord that he's talking about, all you got to do is just whisper a prayer, and he's right there with you. We love you. Kevin, thank you for letting us be on your show. You. We're so thankful. You, uh, people ask us, how can we help you? We get that all the time. How can we help you? Yeah. Here's how you at home can help us. Willie and I want to come and sing in your town. Yes. And I don't know anybody in your town. I don't know how to, I, I'll get my GPS out and we'll turn it off and follow the map. But we want to come and sing for you. If you know of somebody that would book us, that's how you can help us. But the main goal today is that we can speak Jesus into your life. And if you need something from the Lord today, just whisper a prayer. Dark the midnight, low the valley.
standing ovation if I could stand. I'm telling you, what a blessing. What an anointing on that song, Earl. Wow. Tim, isn't that a great song? Tim and Liz, you guys ought to record that song. But uh, it's Earl Galloway or it's uh, Earl and Willie Music, I believe is what it is, on Facebook. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the connection or the link connection. I'm starting to think of G, P, and S now, like T, G, and Y. Uh, but the... Uh, uh, the link, Earl and Willie Music. I don't know, you just kind of wrecked me with that song. It's just such an anointed song. Ah, I like it. We need that sometimes. And uh, thank you for blessing me and uh, for blessing everybody. I get to be right, they're right, standing right there next to me singing it. It's just amazing. It's like, anyway, I hope you felt that same spirit where you are. You are all saying beautiful anointing, great, great spirit, great song. Uh, thank you for all your comments, man. You're singing out your whispered prayer from New Mexico to Idaho. I saw California on there. It's uh, it's amazing, the power of social media and television. So thank you all for watching. And I just got to go uh, wipe my eyes and blow my nose, I guess, because uh, it wrecked me. But uh, I did want to do one thing that's very, very important. Uh, very important. And that was this. <laughs> Well, today is your special day, and everyone at AM Kevin and Kevin Shorey Ministries want to wish you a very happy birthday and many more. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Earl Galloway. His birthday is tomorrow, but of course they'll be on the road, won't be here, or they'll be in Nashville tomorrow. So happy birthday, and I, I can be like Jim. Whatever you want in here, you can take. They have the lamp, I don't care, the TV. You just take whatever, you, there you go. Uh, we got more, so uh, we can always get more. TVs are so amazingly cheap now, aren't they? You really can buy cheap TVs. Uh, anyway, but thank you all. So uh, thank you. Uh, Earl and Willie, please, please, please come back whenever you're in this area. And uh, make sure we give a call to Kim and really uh, lamb blast her for not yes, being here today. Boy. Kim. But I don't know. Maybe her boss kept her. I don't know. But we got a great, uh, great show tomorrow. Uh, and then Friday is our Fritzy Friday. It's, that's right. It's already been a couple of weeks since Miss Fritzy Montgomery, Catcher, Catcher Montgomery, has been on the program. And she's going to tell her... Only I was, if I, only I was uh, uh, planned things. Uh, no, that's the wrong shot. There we go. Earthly stories with heavenly meaning. That's Fritzy. She'll be there. Oh, you know what I found? Do you cook? You like to cook? Have you? Do you have Mel's cookbook? I do not. Happy birthday, Earl. Oh, there you go. That's worth the fortune right there. <laughs> you get some new jokes out of that. There you go. <laughs> Some stories just claim they're yours, you know. Uh, no, there's some great stories in there. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Push the share button because I know the message they shared and the songs that they shared are going to bless somebody that wasn't here live. So push the share button, share it. Tell people to go to our AM Kevin Club channel on YouTube and uh, watch today's program and others. It'll actually say on YouTube, they archive it. Our guys do it for us. It'll say Earl and Willie, Earl, Earl Galloway and Willie Ming. Uh, show number 1,287, so uh, do that. Do, don't, don't watch the older one. <laughs> we had a, a technical difficulty with the sound last time. It was everything sounded like this, so don't watch that one. This one was a great show today, so come on. We're doing it for one reason, one reason only. That's so we can tell the world Jesus is the answer for this world today. I'll see you tomorrow. The button's not working. Bye. Why is it not working? This brings to a close another edition of AM Kevin. We're glad you could join us. If you'd like to contact us, you can call us at 844-47-KEVIN. That number once again is 844-475-3846. Or you can write us at Kevin Shorey Ministries, P.O. Box 222, Pleasant View, Tennessee, 37146. 
Our email address is kshoreymen at aol.com, and you can visit our website, kevinshorey.com. Join us again next time when we present another edition of AM Kevin. And remember, Jesus is the answer for this world today. A.M. Kevin is part of the outreach ministry of Kevin Shorey Ministries, Inc., all rights reserved.